Hey, y'all. Morning to you. Kitty Kelly's laying right between me and the tripod, and her tail is going like that. So if you see it, that's what it is. <laughs> I think she's happy I'm home. She has stayed right by me ever since I got home. I mean, literally right by me. I wasn't gone, but like there when her tail, you see it? I wasn't gone but like six or seven hours yesterday. There it went again, see? All right, we start today in the book of Ezra. And we got three books in the Bible left. Or four. We got four left, I think. Ezra, Nehemiah, Proverbs, and Revelation, I think. I thought we had done Revelation, but I don't have it marked at all that we did it. I didn't go back and look my videos. But anyway, I was planning on doing it again anyway, so maybe I just didn't work it, mark it the first time. But we're living in the beginning of Revelation, y'all. That, that ain't no lie. And you know, sure it's nice to be able to breathe again. Y'all... I, I couldn't imagine what it was like for me the last few days. I couldn't breathe. And, you know, breathing is something that you kind of need to do every now and then. <laughs> and it's a good thing I was an engineer instead of a doctor because I never would have guessed that peeing a whole lot would help you breathe better, but it sure did. Goodness gracious, y'all, they had me peeing all day yesterday. I didn't have a choice. They they gave me an IV, and I don't know what that was, what was in that IV. I don't know what the medicine was called or nothing. But it made me pee a lot. I mean, a lot. My stomach, y'all, and most of y'all never saw my stomach, but my stomach, for the most part, is flat. The last few days, it looked like I was nine or ten months pregnant, and that's no lie. My stomach had triple, quadrupled in size. My shirts were tight. I was very miserable, very uncomfortable, and my legs, I, I kept telling you how big the legs were, but I was kind of embarrassed I guess to tell you how big my stomach was but it was huge it it was I never saw a stomach well I have but not very often I've seen a stomach like that it was big and I knew I've been eating a lot of ice cream lately but I didn't think it would <laughs> double triple quadruple the size of my stomach in a day or two and it wasn't the ice cream. Thank God for that, because I need my ice cream. It was water. My body was full of water. And that IV they gave me was to get the water out, and it succeeded. My stomach is back down, maybe even smaller than it was before all this mess started. I don't know. It's back down where it's supposed to be. And my legs are a whole lot smaller. They still got a little ways to go. They told me to uh, elevate my feet where my feet are up higher than my heart. Y'all, I don't know about how you're built because I hadn't seen most of you. But my heart is right here. And my feet, they're way down there. And me getting my feet up above my heart, I might have could have done it when I was a 17 or 18 year old. There ain't no way I can get my feet up that high now. No way. <clears throat> they told me I need to, well, there goes Callie. Well, she just turned around. She just laid right back down right there. At least I got her head against me now instead of her butt 
uh, they told me I need to sit in my recliner, reclined all the way back. Y'all know what problem I got with that recliner, and I told them about it. And they, because if I get in that recliner, I can't get out because of my crippled up back and crippled up legs. I've, I've been stuck, I'm here all alone, just me and Kitty Callie, and there ain't nobody to help me get out of that recliner, and I thought I was going to die right there in that recliner, y'all, because I couldn't get out of it. I couldn't get to the food, I couldn't get to the water, I couldn't get to the bathroom, I thought I was going to die right there sitting in that recliner. But, thank God I got out of it. I don't know how, but I did. And I never went back to it again after that. It's a comfortable recliner. It's a swivel rocker recliner. And it'll recline the way, it'll lay you down like you're laying in bed. And that's what they said I need to do in that recliner, get my feet up equal to or higher than my heart. And the only way I can do that is in that recliner, but if I get in that recliner, then I, then I ain't gonna be able to do anything else. So I don't know what to do. I need one of those uh, power recliners that has a motor that reclines it and sits it back up and and lifts the seat up to help you get out of it you know for old crippled up people like me that's what I need I had one <clears throat> after my accident I got one but I was in my stubborn hard-headed hard head. Did y'all hear that? It's hard. I ain't lying. You can probably hear it. It's almost like knocking on the door. It's so hard. But anyway, in my stubbornness, I thought, I don't need this thing. Because I, I was determined I was going to walk again and not need all that stuff. And I, I did get that way. But Sure would be nice to have one of those recliners now. And those things are expensive. I don't remember how much it cost, but it was expensive. I remember that. And I had the money, so I got it. And I think I gave it away when I got rid of it. Somebody that needed it and couldn't afford one. And now I need somebody <laughs> that has one to give away to somebody that can't afford one to give one to me. But I reckon if, if I do finish up everything here and move over to the Philippines, I better not be getting any stuff like that. Because I can't move it. I, well, yeah, I can, but it costs three times more than buying a new one over there. I don't even know if you can get stuff like that over there. I don't think those people over there ever get crippled up. They're tough. Those people are tougher than a Texan. They keep on going. They Nothing stops them. They just keep going and going and going. I admire them. I do. And they're always happy. Poor, poor as dirt. And they're always happy. And that just that right there y'all proves that money doesn't buy happiness because those people are happy they're always laughing always smiling and they may not know where their supper meal is coming from that day a lot of them don't but they're happy they're smiling they're laughing I kind of like being around people like that. There ain't many of them around here. There ain't none of them around here where I'm at now. Goodness gracious, y'all. Anyway, I done rambled on for 10 minutes, so I guess this better be a redneck rambling video instead of a reading through the Bible together video. I'm sorry I did that again. I did it yesterday and I did it again today. I miss y'all. I miss having somebody to talk to. That's what it is. And 
Y'all are the only ones I got to talk to. I talk to Kitty Catty, Kitty, Kitty Catty, <laughs> Kitty Callie all the time. But she doesn't ever talk back. She wiggles her tail a lot, though. When I say her name, her tail goes like that for a second. She's a sweet kitty. She cuddled up next to me last night. She knows more about what love is than most women do. I'll tell you what, she's faithful to me. She loves me. Women, they just want stuff. And if you give them stuff, then they act like they love you. And if they ever want something that you don't get them, it's all over. I'm joking. I know there's a lot of y'all women out there that are wonderful, wonderful women. I just, y'all were hiding good when I was looking for a woman. Y'all shouldn't do that, because I'd be a good husband. But it's too late now. I'm too old, and I got plans that I am going to carry out, and they ain't no women that I know of that would like those kind of plans. So, bam, I'll go over there all alone. My, my last wife, my most recent ex, Oh my goodness, y'all. I, I, on my Facebook, I deleted every mutual friend she and I had because she, she unfriended herself from me two or three years ago, and that was fine with me. But she... She's nosy. She wanted to keep up with what what I was doing and where I was going and how I was and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And she couldn't do it anymore because she unfriended herself from me. So she had friends spying on me. And she was telling me in private messages what I was doing and where I had been and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And and so I deleted over 300 friends. I didn't know which ones was spying on her, spying for her. So I just deleted anybody that might possibly be a mutual friend. And I took my Facebook count from seven or 800 down to about 300, just like that. And she hadn't said anything lately about what I've been doing or what I've been saying, so evidently whoever her spy was, they're gone bye-bye now. I've got a few. She's Ukrainian, and I've got a few Ukrainian friends that I kept. They're my friends, not her friends, my friends. And I've got a few Russian friends that... Uh, Russians and Ukrainians are a lot alike, and Russian people love Ukrainian people, and Ukrainian people love Russian people. It's just the governments that clash. They, you know, all during the, uh, oh, my mind went blank, you know, when, co during communist Russia, Ukraine was under Russia control, and then when I think it's Ronald Reagan stopped all of that, broke them apart, then Ukraine became its own country again. <clears throat> but the Ukrainian people and the Russian people stayed friends for the most part. You know, there's some that are not friends, but for the most part, what in the world is that? I paid my electricity bill. I don't know what that's all about. But you know, that that's just like people here in this little town. There's some that don't like others. And in Texas, there's some Texans that don't like other Texans. And that's how it is with, between Russians and Ukrainians. But for the most part, Russians like Ukrainians and Ukrainians like Russians. And they get along just fine. And the Russians did a lot of protests and public protests. And when 
Putin started that war against Ukraine and Putin didn't like his people going against him like that. So he said, you do that publicly, you're going to go to jail. And so they can't protest anymore. And that ain't right. But that's how Putin is. And he's going to be a leader in the end times. And you can see it getting all set up. All the blocks are falling right into place, y'all. Anyway, let me end this video. I, I gave y'all 15 minutes of redneck rambling. And you don't learn a whole lot, but maybe you got entertained a little. <laughs> you probably didn't even get that. You probably just wasted 15 minutes of your life. But made me happy to say all that stuff, I guess. I don't know why I said it. I don't even know what I started talking about. I just start chasing a rabbit, and before you know it, I'm five miles off the main highway. That's it for now, y'all. I'll be back with my Bible readings with y'all. God bless you, friends.